Fourth grade, you have worked incredibly hard on your research and now it's time. It's time to turn that research into a Sway project. And you're probably wondering what Sway is. Our objective today is that I can build a Sway to share about my black history research. We're gonna be working on this for a few days. You'll notice it says day one. And our goal is that we can accomplish 10 steps every day. 10 steps that get us closer to finishing this Sway project. Here's my recommendation for you. As you're watching this video on one device, get a second device and start following along with these steps. It's gonna be hard to remember all 10 steps after you watch the video. So if you need to, pause, find a second device that you can use to pull up your sway, and then we'll start playing this video and working together one step at a time. Are you ready? All right. If you're with me, let's do step one. We're gonna open class link and tap on Office 365, and you can see big pointy arrows pointing to the icon that says Office 365. It's orange, it's got a box. Look for that now. If you're struggling, you need to pause this video and don't hit play until you've opened Office 365. Within Office 365, there are lots of apps, but today we're gonna to be opening Sway. It's an icon with an S that has a picture of a mountain. And here's a hint, don't get Sway confused with SharePoint, choose carefully. Notice SharePoint also has the letter S and a bunch of circles, but you specifically want the S with the mountain range. Pause this video if you need to and get that step done. And don't press play until you have Sway open. Are you ready for your next step? We're doing 10 steps today and you've already done two. So I think you're in good shape, guys. And step number three is a real easy one. Do you know what time it is? It's time to start your Sway. Tap the plus sign that says new blank Sway. And it looks a lot like the image you see on my screen. Pause or be ready for the next step. Now that you have a new Sway, you've got to title your Sway. In the text box, you will type the first and last name of your research subject. That's the person that you're studying and making your Sway about. And remember when you type their name, their first and their last name needs to have capital letters. Sometimes your iPad keyboards don't automatically capitalize things for you, so you have to take the initiative to do it. Let's say, for example, I'm studying called Claudette Colvin. So I typed in the title of your sway box, Claudette Colvin, like so. Take a moment, pause this video if you need to, do that step, and be ready to go for step five. Yes, step five. Can you believe it? Ten steps and we're on step five already. Here's step five. Now that you've typed the name of the person that you're studying, let's insert a photo of your research subject. When you tap on the image icon, it's going to prompt you to search images of the name that you typed. Your Sway is so so smart. It's gonna ask you if you wanna search images on the internet of that exact name. So be sure you typed it correctly. You're gonna select a picture that's clear and that's easy to look at because it's gonna be the first image that we see in your Sway. Once you select your image, tap add. It's gonna be a teal button. So scroll through, see which one you like, check mark that image, and then that image will post up a button that says add. Add your image, pause this video if you need more time. And really, you probably should pause this video. You gotta scroll through and look at different images. Otherwise, let's move on to step six. Here we go. You know what? I like my image. It's a great image of Claudette. But do you notice how it cuts off her whole photo? Look at the bottom of my screen. It crops her photo to just her eyes if anybody's looking at this on an iPad or an iPhone. And I want people to look at this on an iPad or an iPhone. You guys use iPads every single day. I don't think that this is gonna look good, so I need to fix that. You're gonna tap on 
focus points. If you look at the place where we typed in Claudette Colvin's name or where you typed in your person's name, you're gonna see a circle with a mountain range and it says focus points. Take a moment to find that button, even pause this video if you need to, you know the deal. And once you find focus points, you're gonna see a menu that looks like this pop up on the side. You're going to look for a checkbox that says the entire image is important. That's your way of telling Sway, hey, this whole picture of Claudette is really important to look at, not just her eyeballs, so I don't want you to crop it at all. Once you find that box, check mark that box and whoo, much better. Now, no matter what device people will look, use to look at my Sway, they're gonna see her entire picture without it being cut off. Already notice the difference. Look at the bottom of my screen and look at that image of Claudette. This is what it was before, cropped into her eyes. And this is what it is after we check mark that box. That was step seven and we're about to start step eight. If you're falling behind, this is a great opportunity for you to pause this video. But if you're ready to go, let's look at step eight. Now that we have some basic information in there, let's spice up our page. Change the view from storyline to design. You should see something similar to my page view. Do you see where my arrows are pointing in the top corner to those two tabs? You've been working in the storyline tab. That's where you add content. But now we want to make it look a little bit spicy. So we're going to tap on design. And that's where we get to change the colors and the fonts. So tap that button. Once you're in the design view, your view is going to look a little bit different. You'll start seeing your person's image nice and big, their name as a title, and you're gonna see some new buttons appear. One of those new buttons is an icon called styles. And you can see my big arrows pointing at styles in the top corner. Tap on that icon and just notice the menu of themes. Really scroll through. Choose a style that you think looks the best. Here's my example. I scrolled through. Now, there are some examples that maybe you like but aren't totally appropriate for a presentation. So you want it to still look school appropriate, professional, but you also want to put a little bit of your personality into your sway as well. So scroll through and find a theme that works best for you. And again, you know the deal. If you have to pause this video to do that, go ahead and do that now. Because did you notice what step we're on? We're on step nine. Nine out of 10 steps. So by the time we finish the next step, you're gonna be wrapping up this assignment today, guys. So take your time to make it look as nice as possible. Pause this video if you need to, because I'm about to move on to step 10. And here is step 10. All right, let's go back to earlier. Did you notice how Claudette's name was too long to fit on one line? I mean, just look at it on the side there. It says Claude, and then t, t and then Colvin. I don't like the way that looks. I'd rather Claudette have her whole name on one line. And Claudette Colvin is not a very long name. Some of you are probably studying names that are even longer than that. So if you notice the same thing happening to you, here's how we can fix it. After you choose your theme, you're going to see a button that says customize, like the one this arrow is pointing to. It's teal, you can tap on it, and it's gonna give you lots, lots of options on how to make that theme even more unique to you. So even if your text isn't spilling over, this might be a cool button to explore because maybe you wanna change some colors, or maybe you wanna change the font. So everybody, let's go ahead and tap on customize and see what we can do. Now, if you're running into the same issue that I did and your words are spilling over to a second line, scroll down to the bottom of that menu and scroll down till you see this sliding bar that allows you to change your text size. If you go to the left, it gets smaller. If you go to the right, it gets bigger. And you're gonna drag that bar to the smallest possible text. And don't worry, I know it makes you nervous to go all the way small, but it's still going to look great. And awesome, now your name fits. 
And do you know what that means? Do ya? It means that you have accomplished all 10 steps of your sway today. Now, obviously we are nowhere near done with our sway. And every time you return, we're gonna do 10 more steps until the entire biography is completed. But for now, I wanna see what you did. So it is seesaw time, show me what you made. After you finish customizing your page and you get out of all of the design menus, just take a look at your beautiful sway so far. Here's what mine looks like. You're gonna take a screenshot of your work while it's in design view. Remember that you have two possible views, storyline and design. If you have it on storyline, it's not going to look like it does on my screen. You want it to be in present mode, design mode, so make sure that you're selected to design. Take a screenshot of this beautiful work and then upload that image to Seesaw. The next time you tune in tomorrow, we're gonna to be doing the next 10 steps. I cannot wait to see your screenshots. Have fun.